Welcome back to What RT Noobs with General Disturbance. This is a Hummel. It's a tier 6 German SPG with a 15cm howitzer and it's located on the north spawn of Serene Coast and we've got a Joker in this game and yes he's actually writing using the minimap. Well this Hummel is commanded by UK Scarface but it's not him who's making the rude messages it's Another idiot. <laughs> no, sorry, UK Scarface. I'm not saying you're an idiot. No, it's an idiot who's in the OI. Well, I think he's got a chat ban. Obviously, that's why he's using his uh, mini map to send messages. Either that, or he's uh, just generally um, a numpty. What's the word? Muppet. Muppet's a good word. Okay, UK Scarface is aiming towards the west side of the map. He's in the nest, which is not the best place to go because it's a bit vulnerable. It's obviously everyone knows that that nest is there. So the best place to do is to stay away from the nest and that way they can't get hits on you. But from the nest, you can actually fire further up the valley and there's a Panther M10 up there. He stunned it. Well, it's a 26.24 second reload. He's not using chocolate, which would speed up the reload a little bit. But he might have a rammer and BIA crew. He's lost sight of that panther. Okay, we've got a super jumbo over that side. He's just realigning his aim, but... That Panther m come into sight again, and he's dialing in on that position. It's a good eight seconds to dial in fully. I wonder if... The, is he using a gun laying drive? Rounds out. Direct hit. That one worked. 298 hit points off that one. Of course, the Panther M10 is basically a panther that's been decked out to look like an M10. It's not fooling anyone. Okay, Super Jumbo's been joined by T3485M. And now we've got a Tufa. If we hit one, we can get the other one at the same time. Rounds out. Well, he killed the Super Jumbo. <laughs> but we, I don't think he got any damage on that T3485M, but who cares? He killed the Super Jumbo. appear to be an explosion. I think the shell may have just gone straight through the vehicle and killed everyone inside. Okay, he's almost loaded and he switched targets. Now going to go after an 87 over on the west side again. Lining up the shots. Dialing in and ready to go. It's reduced. That's the Russian word it says reduced there. Dialing in again, and we're getting that ridicule drift again for some reason. It keeps appearing. We don't know why. So long as you aim directly at the target, the aim point is where the shell's going to go. It's just the reticule just of its own volition decides to move in one direction or the other. Okay, IKV-65-2 rounds out, and he splashes him. 36 hit points, but he gets some stun assist, so... That's benefited him. Next target's a T28 HTC. It's the tier 7 reward tank. Reward tank destroyer, rather. And we've lost sight of him. Scorpion will pick him up. There he is. Okay, now he's got a 105mm gun, but very, very tough armor. But that armor is no match for HE, I'm afraid. So if we can get shots onto him, it will damage him, but... UK Scarface has decided to go after the 45 TP instead. Probably easier to damage than the uh, T28. Lost sight of him. Oh, the Joker is back. He says, I spot, I think. Going after the Panther. It's a Panther 2. Runs out on the T28. This time he gets a direct hit. And he stuns all three tanks, I think. Pretty sure he did stun all three. If he didn't stun all three, he got two of them. His teammate in this game is a GW Tiger Porsche. Who's behind him, further to the west. So he might be firing this direction as well. 
T28 is trying to make a push. Going after the T34-3. We're loaded. Rounds out. Direct hit into his side. Stuns him. A stun tank can't aim accurately. You can see where the hole was. It actually just on the tracks. And he's got the Jagdpanzer behind him. Now that will be a twofer. Oh, unfortunately T34-3 just got assaulted from behind by an SU-152. And that looks very nasty. And he just got killed by the Panther 2. We fire round into the SU-152. It lands on the roof. You can see the big yellow mark where the shell exploded. But they're getting so close now that we can't angle the gun down to get a shot easily. Oh, he's struggling to get it onto target. He might actually get ground problem. Yes, he's got ground problems now. The ground's in the way. He's trying to line up a shot. He's loaded. Rounds out. Oh, it zipped right over the top of the SU-152. Right over the top of him. And that looked like that was a round from the GW Tiger P. Now, they're getting very, very close to us now. We might need to relocate. Trouble is, if we do relocate that 59.16 to our right, might actually uh, spot us again. Oh, he just killed the Yang Panzer IV with a blind shot. He's now having to pull back a bit. Otherwise, he's not going to be able to shoot these guys. In fact, actually pulling back a bit actually does raise the gun a teeny weeny bit. And they are now in the cap. So... Which one are we going for first? I think the Wizzy 1201 FT is a bigger threat. Unfortunately, we've got a red line there because that hill, that rock is in the way. And the Wizzy 120 is just being killed. Now we're going for the SU-152 who's coming over here. I think he knows we're here. And we fire around directly into him. Now it would be a good idea to get behind that rock. <laughs> if we get behind the rock, he can't shoot at us. We're reloading. Hoping that our teammates will get... Oh, and our messenger is back again. I don't think that we're going to survive this one, but we might get one more round off. Let's hope it's enough. Yes, it is! <laughs> well done. Good shotgun. And there's now three versus two. And that 45 TP is very badly damaged, but the enemy must know where we are. And, of course, they do have one more RT, so you have to move. You have to get behind cover. Otherwise, the RT is going to get an easy shot. Well, that was the 45 TP. Hit us in the engine. We've repaired it. But he's still coming on. Turning to face. Can we get a shotgun? Yes! And that wins the game. They kill the RT at the other end. Nice play, UK Scarface. Let's have a look at the end of battle stats for that one. It's an ace tanker for UK Scarface in the Hummel. It's not just any ace tanker. It's his first one as well. You've got the scroll underneath. That's always the first one. And he got a fighter badge as well as a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. He got 12 in that one. And his win eight for the game was 3,813, which is very good indeed. Let's have a look at the team score. Well, we can see when it came to damage, it was actually very, very close. The SU-14-2 on the enemy team got 1,988 hit points of damage, but didn't pick up the high caliber for some reason. Maybe he damaged one of his own teammates or it wasn't 20% of the enemy hit points in total, but he did manage to get the highest damage in the game. The M44 on their team got a Confederate, but uh, when it came to damage on our team, well, it was the T-34-3 who got the highest amount, 1,910 for him. And uh, he was just after the 45 TP on the enemy team with 1,937. We can see that UK Scarface managed 1,894, not far behind. Uh, he was the next one in line. And when it came to kills, though, he got the highest number. He got four kills, so did the SU-14-2. They both got four. And when it came to base XP, yes, that's where it's UK Scarface all the way. 1,182 because he was on the winning team. Got the highest damage on the winning team other than the uh, T-34-3. And, of course, he got that four kills and was alive at the end. Uh, so very nice indeed. The next highest score of T-34-3 was 777. And after that, it was the AMX-12-ton with a 721. 
UK Scarface fired 14 rounds in that game, got 8 direct hits, no penetrations, but 13 splash. Damage of 1,894 hit points, of which 1,135 were at more than 300 meters. He did a lot of close range work, and those shotguns were amazing. I, I really honestly thought the SU-152 was going to come over the ridge line and finish him, and that would be the end of his game, but he kept his cool, fired his round right into the face of that SU-152 and put him out of his misery. He did receive one hit. It was a penetration. That was from the uh, 45TP right at the end of the game. And he damaged eight of the enemy, killed four, and did 1,338 hit points of stun assist off nine stuns. On a premium account, he earned 58,775 credits, got 29,387 from personal reserve, and his total came to 88,162. And after repair, ammunition, resupply, and consumables took away 67,000. 517 credits profit, which is a decent profit for a tier 6 arty. 1,773 XP times 2 for the first victory. He got 3,546 for completing the mission and events and 886 from personal reserves. So he took away 7,978 altogether. He says, come and have a go if you think you're hard enough. Well, he did twice in that one. Two shotguns, two brilliant shotguns, the SU-152 and the 45TP at the end. And I'm sure he was very pleased once he'd taken the 45TP out of the game to find out that he didn't have to kill the school bus because somebody else had got it for him. And so, yes, that was very pleasing indeed. If you enjoyed that replay, please give this video a like. Do subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell if you can. Uh, we have more videos coming out. Uh, for a day at least so if this is uh, only one of the ones that's come out today and there's still isn't another four haven't been released so far there's more to come thanks for watching